So I am going to explain you the proton NMR of tertiary butyl methyl ether. So this is a proton NMR. So this is a proton NMR of the tertiary butyl methyl ether. So this so you can see in the proton NMR the X axis is designated the chemical shift or you can say part per million. So the chemical shift is on X axis. It can give the position of the NMR signals of various proton in a sample. So if we see the proton NMR, uh, the structure of tertiary butyl methyl ether, it contain three methyl group which is attached on the carbon and one methyl group is attached with the oxygen. So it, uh, it has two different type of the protons, right? So two different type of proton, CH3, CH3, if you expand the structure of the this tertiary butyl, it contains three methyl groups, CH3, 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 which have same chemical environment and the, this methyl which is attached with the oxygen, it has different chemical environment because it is attached with electronegative element which is oxygen. So now we come to the proton enema of the uh, this tertiary butyl methyl ether. So the question ar arises how many pro, uh, pro signals appears in a proton NMR spectrum of this compound. So if you see there are the three uh, three methyls which have same chemical environment. So the pro so and the, so this is one chemical environment. The second one is the methyl which is attached with the oxygen, right? So second, the, this it has different chemical environment as compared to tertiary butyl. Means they are there. So the proton NMR of this compound consists of how many signal? Two signal number one. This, this signal because of tertiary butyl, and one signal is because of the methyl oxy. So the tall peak, you can see this is the tall peak here, yeah. tall peak which is uh, appear at 1.2 ppm, right, which is due to the tertiary butyl, uh, tertiary butyl. And the small peak, a uh, small peak is at 3.2, which is due to the methoxy group. So as you can see, there's an increase in a chemical shift is plotted from right to the left right so upfield me upfield means is uh, the upfield signal is means signal at the right and the downfield is the signal at the uh, this left 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 hand side so uh, the upfield signal which is the methoxy is you due to uh, that which is upfield from the methoxy and methoxy is the downfield be, uh, downfield the uh, from this uh, tertiary methyl group, tertiary butyl group, right? So and the the uh, third signal which is at uh, which is appeared at zero ppm, which is because of the tertiary, which is because of the TMS, which is tetramethylsilane, which generally used as a reference, and it always appeared at zero ppm right 0 ppm and it has single peak upfield from the the typical nmr absorption so this is how uh, the 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 uh, we can explain the proton nmr spectrum of any compound the important things are how many signals appear in how many signals appear in proton nmr right and which signal can be the upfield one and which one will be the downfield right upfield is because of the shielded proton and downfield because of any electronegative atom attached with the proton it just uh, uh, pull the electrons uh, uh, from the proton and that's why proton shifted to the downfield region